everybody, what's up? So check this out. You see this little boonie hat that you see uh, older geezers wear when they're out there running around? And you think they look silly or young kids get them out of the sun? And you're like, oh, I'm never going to wear that. Here's your notice, man. When you get older, you need to go ahead and embrace it. Embrace the culture, right? Whatever. The white socks and the white shoes or whatever you got to do. Because you're going to need something like this. And if not for uh, two reasons. One, keep your ears from getting burned off the side of your head from the sun or, or even the top of your head getting sunburned. The second reason is melanoma. It becomes a very real thing when you get older. That Things that you didn't worry about when you were younger um, come up and get you. So I got two boonie hats that I want to talk about right quick. This one is my newest. And I'll be uh, completely honest, it took me a long time to realize that you could just wear a tan boonie hat, lighter in color, and it keeps the heat from burning your head alive. Right? Darker colors attracts the heat. So if you're going to get one of these, let's go through a couple things that you should consider when you buy a boonie hat. Just real quick. You definitely want ventilation. It lets all the steam that comes off your fat head out of a hat. That's always nice. You want one that's probably going to be able to take the shape of however you want to put it. But at the end of the day, they're supposed to be shapeless. But come on, give it a little bit of swag. The more stitch rows you have, probably the more likely it is to be able to stand up on its own. Give it just a tiny bit of stiffness. You want this. Don't use this as a chin strap. Put this over the back of your head, right? The nub in the back of your head. You can snug it up and it'll stay on. The inside, uh, I found that I really like the, the boonie hats that have like a little pocket in here. This little pocket does a couple different things. It lets you put some stuff in there, which is always good to be secret agent boonie hat man. You can also put the chin strap, which is not a chin strap, in there. It just makes a little bit of, it's a better hat, right? Oh, and I like the boonie hats that are kind of plain. And this is if I'm going out, I don't want to embarrass my family, but I mean, whatever, man. So I like it's kind of plain, kind of smooth. The other hat I want to talk about is this one. This one is a little bit different because it has snaps and allows you to snap the side of the hat. So you could do like all uh, maybe Outback style cowboy so those are the things that i would look for in a hat i'd look for ventilation i'd look for uh, some some amount of built-in stiffness and i would look for a way to uh sort of secure it to your head and a little snap on the side All right now the one that i just showed you before this the proper hat which is who made that hat doesn't have that and that's fine i've had this hat since 2012 it's been a great hat and it does have the little things that you can put like brush or whatever you don't need to do all that stuff it's been a great hat but I got, I got to tell you, the older I get, the more hot it becomes outside. And this will basically burn your head clean off. It's so hot. It attracts the heat. Keeps the heat. It is a classic color, though. Got the old green boonie hat. OD. So if you're going to wear a hat like a boonie hat in the summertime, especially a boonie style hat, if you can get the nylon ripstop, it's probably better. It's a lighter weight, but it is stronger. Um, because like full cotton and like maybe canvas or whatever are, are great at keeping the heat. Now the only benefit to that is, is if you got it wet, then it would keep your head cooler longer until the coolness and the liquid in the hat turns to steam and burns your brain. I don't know, this is just a rambling, rambling kind of thing. So you know, it's something that, if you're a youngster, right, and you see these old people out there, these, these way older than you people out there running around with hats on, like looking goofy, and you're like, oh, no, 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 you'll be there, man. It's not going to take forever. Sooner or later, you'll be out there wearing a boonie hat and white socks and all that stuff, too. Whether you like it or not. There's a reason why people do it. It's not because they have lack of style. It's for two reasons. They're old enough to where they don't give a shit what you think. And secondly, um, they, they do it for a reason. Like maybe keep the sun from burning their heads and making their faces all burn up, getting heat stroke and heat exhaustion and, and then possibly, you know, keeping, you know, melanoma at bay because that's stuff serious business. You know, so embrace it it's going to happen to you everything you dislike about older people or wish that it would never happen to you will happen to you i'm just saying this is sort of a public service notice so if you're under, under the age of 30 and you're watching this video it's coming sure is so yeah get a good one uh, get a good boonie hat i've reviewed a couple boonie hats and uh yeah buy one that has ventilation and a way to secure it to your head maybe the inside pocket a nice material little design to keep you cool and buy one that you can actually select the correct size those are some tips and if it's like two or three dollars it's probably not going to last but two or three minutes i mean there's a there's a place for cheap really cheap boonie hats you put them in bags and in your car and stuff so in an emergency you've got something 
about it. But if you want to buy one that lasts a long time, you're probably going to spend more than 10 bucks for sure. So that's just, just what I'm thinking. So anyway, see you later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.